Welcome back, everybody. We are at two months now, and this is uh, going to be tank update number two for the Evo 5. Obviously, we got some corals going on here. I'm just going to walk you throughout the tank. Got all these uh, corals from Ron's tank, the 55. So, very nice of him to hook me up like that. But starting you off front and center, we got the yellow polyp finger leather. I think it's the yellow polyp finger, but leather finger nonetheless. And an orange accordia over to the left side of the tank, sitting next to this beautiful Superman mushroom, to another orange accordia, leather finger, which is kind of growing the wrong way, or grew up sideways. I gotta reorient that. I've been having trouble having that one open up. And we got some red speckled mushrooms up top. Next to another Superman. Or a couple rather. That's a beautiful mushroom, man. That's probably my favorite mushroom right there. Another speckled on the bottom. And a um, leather finger again there. So with these two clownfish, it's been on and off battle between these guys. Uh, the female, which is on the bottom of the screen, has been bullying the crap out of the male, and so she sat in a net for quite a lot, quite a while, probably about a week uh, or almost two weeks, on and off. And it's got to the point now where the the male is standing up for himself a little bit better. Uh, I was expecting this behavior because uh, it happened in my last couple of clownfish as well, but it was a little concerning this time around because the male had literally turned pale. I mean, pale through and through the entire body, so I was worried I was gonna lose him. So I kind of decided to split them up a little bit and it seems to have done the trick. So outside of that, haven't done a water change yet. Um, my parameters were reading zero for ammonia and zero for nitrites as of a week ago, which is why I felt comfortable doing the uh, corals. But I have yet to actually go about and add a cleanup crew because I don't think there's enough for uh, any crabs to kind of survive off of. I'm not really overfeeding the tank. I'm starting to get some brown algae here and there, uh, but I'm gonna mix the sand here going forth, but still just topping off some fresh water and hoping that uh, these old algae spots on the glass will eventually turn pink once I uh, get the algae or the beneficial bacteria back up to a good level in the tank. I'm gonna see how long I can go without a water change here. Let me zoom back in, but yeah, ended up taking out the bottom left rock just because that's where the uh, male clownfish was kind of hiding, and I wanted him to get out of that corner, so I took it out. Uh, not to mention that, but also there was a little bit of green hair algae. You can kind of see a little bit here on the base of this coral, so I got to scrape that off before it spreads, but... Uh, Ron's tank had a little bit, nothing that was like overgrown or killing his tank in my opinion. They're a little bit all over the place. I did not dip these corals when I got them. Um, they're easy to care for. It's a pretty low labor intensive tank so I don't want to um, go over the top with uh, taking care of them. But yeah guys, that's it at two months. I'll keep you posted a little bit more often now as uh, some changes happen. And I'll let you guys know. If you got any questions, put it in the description. Look forward to see your tanks. Peace.